Thank you very much. Let me first take this opportunity to welcome everybody to this uh, grounds here at State House Karibuni Sana. Uh, let me also take this opportunity to congratulate all the girls that participated in the games, uh, different trials that eventually selected this great team that we have in front of us. I know there are many girls uh, out there who were part of this exercise and the selection process that today gives us this team that is ably led by our captain Elizabeth. To you who have qualified to be in the team, I want to say to all of you, even as you travel, congratulations for achieving this feat. What you are going to participate in is historic. When history of Kenya around football and World Cup is written, your names will be inscribed in gold. That the first ever Kenyan team in all uh, um, uh, different uh, disciplines of uh, team sport, our Starlets became the first team to qualify for the World Cup. It has taken us 60 years to be able to get here. Many of you are 14 years, which means the journey for the search of going to the World, World Cup started before you were born. But today, you become part of that history by being the girls who finally made it to form the team that finally became the first Kenyan team, the trailblazers for Kenya to participate in the World Cup. Before you leave Kenya, you have already made history. We just want you to write the final chapter of that history by coming home with a cup. Eh? Elizabeth, as you have asked very passionately, I want to extend that ask to the people of Kenya. Our team, the Starlets, have asked for our support. And let me say, we are not only going to give you our support, you will also go with our prayers that you succeed and that you do well and that you make Kenya proud. I will be following. I will be right behind you. Player number 12. I will be right there to make sure that uh, as you participate, as you leave uh, uh, Kenya for Spain and finally to Dominican Republic, be assured of our support, be assured of our goodwill, our prayers, and uh, uh, continue to make us proud. Let me say this, that um, as we make history with this team as a country, we must always remember that Kenya being the great sporting nation that it is, it is our collective responsibility as a people to continue to think about our country positively. I'm very happy with the collaboration that has been seen between the different actors, especially the ministries of education and ministry of sports, that these girls will have the chance to make this historic journey to participate in the first World Cup without losing their opportunity to do their exams. That we are going to make sure that they will participate in the World Cup, but those of you who are doing exams will not lose your chance. You will have your chance to do your exams, and like all other children in Kenya that will be doing their exams, you will not be left behind. Let me also say that as we go into the future, um, school games and what is happening in our primary schools, what's happening in our secondary schools, 
will form part of the ecosystem of building our sports, athletics, our um, uh, ball games, and all the other uh, sporting events and sporting um, activities in the country. It is the reason why I made the policy decision that the sports fund will no longer be used to do all the other things that it was used to do. It will only be focused on sports so that we can have adequate resources to support sports right from the bottom, right from primary school. And partly, I must say, it must have contributed to this team that there was resources available for us to support our secondary schools, our primary schools, our school games. And I see it across, even in the other arts, even the creative industry. And that is going to be the way into the future, that the talent that we have, that is evident. And that is why in the uh, just concluded uh, games in, um, in Paris, Kenya was country number one in Africa. And it speaks to the wealth of talent that we have as a country. I have often said that we may not have gold, silver, and, all, and oil, and all the other things, but our greatest asset as a country is our human capital. It is the reason I just came from, back from, from uh, Germany, because they also see Kenya as a source of qualified, competent talent that can be useful for working in their economy. So we have a resource that we must continuously develop. It is a resource that we must continuously um, um, uh, sharpen to take our country to the next level. It is also the reason why I am committed to spending more resources in our education, hiring more teachers, spending more money in our tibets, spending more money in our universities, spending more money in our uh, sports, because the Kenyan talent is the greatest asset that we have. And I'm so proud, I am so, so proud uh, that I am part of this history, sending you to the first ever World Cup, the young girls, uh, uh, our Starlet team, Harambe Star Starlet team, you have all the goodwill from us, and I am confident that I am speaking for every Kenyan, and every Kenyan will be watching. If there is one thing that brings our nation alive and together and united, it is sports. And so this is a moment, again, as Kenyans, for us to close ranks and to support this team and to give them our best uh, goodwill, our best support, and to pray uh, for success of, of, of this team. Let me also say that uh, we will continuously look at the horizon of uh, building infrastructure around our sports. There is an elaborate program that uh, we are working on. The ministry is leading that process of making sure that we develop sports academies around Kenya. I know there is an elaborate program that will be rolled out that the ministry is running with. We are building necessary infrastructure. There is, at the moment, going on renovations in Nyayo Stadium, in Kasarani Stadium. We are building a brand new Talanta Stadium in Jamuhuri because we want to build the infrastructure that will support our sports. As you are all aware, we will be hosting Chan uh, early next year, in February. We will be hosting AFCON in 2027, um, uh, together with our East African colleagues, Tanzania and Uganda. And that is a moment, yet again, when we can expose our talent and we can match up with the best in Africa and globally. 
I remember day before yesterday, or is it, yeah, day before yesterday, when I had a chat with the CAF president, he told me, Mr. President, Kenya has a chance to win in Chan and in Afcon. That's a very big challenge. I hope you guys are listening. So, Minister and your team, <laughs> you have some homework. And uh, I know you are up to the task with your team at uh, sports. And with these girls, I, I see that that possibility is inching closer. Uh, we, can, we can do this uh, together. So, Elizabeth and your team, as you uh, have asked, I will be here. Yeah? And you have my support. 100%. Eh, na kuna maneno mukirudi hapa nitawapanga vizuri sawa sawa so just go knowing that eh, eh, prezona anatungojea nyumbani si namna hiyo so i wish you well i know there are three girls as uh, waziri has said uh, Charlene, claire and uh, somebody else Mary, eh? michelle so Charlene, Claire, and uh, Michelle, uh, I know they made a huge contribution towards getting us here. They may not be in the team that will play, but as has been asked, I want them to be in the team that will accompany you and be part of this historic event as a representative of all the others who participated but did not eventually make it uh, to the final team because it had to be a certain number. I, I wish it was, it, was, it was going to be bigger. So, um, again, thank you very much to all. I know uh, coach has had a difficult moment, the coaches who are here. Uh, Pongezi Sana coach for doing a wonderful job. You have also made history to coach the first team in Kenya to go to the World Bank. The World, World Cup. Sante Sana and your team. I know we have physios there. We have uh, all the other people who are supporting you. And all the officials that uh, will accompany this team. Uh, please look after these girls. And uh, Kenya is, is waiting. We are uh, a great sporting nation, as, as I have said. And sports is one thing that brings our country uh, together. Asanteni sana for uh, this feat. Um, bon voyage. My very best wishes. And uh, see you soon when you come back home. Uh, before you leave, uh, I don't know if you mind if I can share a cup of tea with you. Is that okay, Elizabeth? We can have a cup of tea together? Yes, Elizabeth, I said yes. So we can, we can have a cup of tea together and then... Uh, I can let you go and prepare for your journey. Congratulations to everybody, to all the other players I know. To put together a team like this, we need all manner of support. We need the media, we need uh, uh, people who cheer, we need those people who have vuvuzelas all over the place, and it makes the, the team what it is. So to all of you, uh, Asante Nisana for supporting uh, this great team. Thank you very much. God bless you. Haya tumshukuru Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya player number 12 akiwa amemaliza. Your Excellency will request that you sign the ball that you have. Let us take our seats please. Let's take our seats briefly so that the cameras are able to capture na tutamuomba Captain Aj